Text to image is finally right inside of Google search right here. I'm going to go ahead and search, create an image of a bunny. You get this new section on top right now. It says generating and it's going to generate four images for me. And there we go. We got four. Now these are not from Google search. These are generated. So this is like Dolly three. This is like mid journey. And if I click on one of these, I could go ahead and edit that. I'll show you that in a second, but let me see if it could make me a logo. I said, create a logo for my AI company called skill leap AI. Let's see what it comes up with. Whoa, it came up with four pretty good logos here. Actually, let me go ahead and click on one of them. Let me show you this edit page. So if you go to this edit page, you could see the prompt. It came up with a logo of a company called skill leap AI purple and black colors, a rocket ship. Now I just removed rocket here. So everything else is the same. Let's see if it could regenerate it without that rocket. Okay. Give me three different ones this time. I like this one actually. And then let's see if we could change the color purple to blue. Wow. This one's actually really, really interesting. I could actually go ahead and export it from here. Just download. I could move it into my Google drive as well. Okay. Let me show you how to activate it. If you don't have that option just yet. If you just go to google.com, you should see this option right here. Search labs. I'll show you how to get it if you don't see this icon. But if you click this icon right now, Google is doing a lot of AI testing. So right here, generative AI in search. That's this option that I just turned on. You also have this other option for browsing. So it's going to give you things in a different way. This is again, AI powered search. So you could turn this on if you want, agree to the terms and it will be available. So they have four different options, including this one that takes place inside of Google Sheets. I really like this one. It actually creates tables with a simple text prompt. Now, if you don't see that icon, just go to labs.google. And here, these are the different things that are available inside of Google Labs. So you could go ahead and join the waitlist on any of them to get that page. So they have things inside of Google Workspace that you could learn more about. They have things that even generate music here using a text prompt. So join the waitlist on one of those. That will give you the labs icon once you get in. Now, let me take something from our mid journey prompt book. I want to see if we could actually replicate some of these here. So I'll take this prompt here that we have for our mid journey course. Let me bring this over and let's see if I give it an actual prompt, what it could come up with. Okay. So this is what it came up with. And this is what I have inside of mid journey. So when it came to illustrations, even though it did a good job with my logo, it did not do a good job with this. Let's try a different one. Let me try this landscape here. So I'm going to take this again. These are all created inside of mid journey. These are from our mid journey prompts book. So I said, create a photograph of the landscape scene. Again, the entire mid journey prompt is pasted over here. Okay. So this time we went a cartoony direction. So this is what we had and this is what we got. So let me try it a whole different way. So it looks like it doesn't like these style of promptings. So I'm going to just really simplify, create a photograph of a landscape scene. Okay. That's a lot more interesting. Now it's coming up with things that look a lot better. These look a lot more like a photo. That's really nice. So if you're used to doing more advanced prompts to get things like this out of mid journey or Dolly three, it's not going to work the same way inside of Google. It looks like inside of Google, you just have to do this in a more simple explanation and not, not go really too in depth in your prompting. And sometimes when I ask for a photorealistic image, it just says AI images aren't available for this search. So I've been getting this a lot as well. Here I said, create a photo of a group of animals in the jungle. It did okay. And I really like you could come over here and alter your prompt a little bit. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But we do have it right inside of Google search, one button export, one button to take it inside of Google Drive. Not at all comparable to mid journey. It doesn't understand prompts very well. The revision is not quite there yet, but a big leap for Google. They are really going all in on generative AI. And another big update was from chat GPT with the ability to see what's inside of a picture, the vision capability. And I covered that in a video that I'll put up here. I'll see you on the next video.